Hello everyone on YouTube, it's Sam here, and today I'm going to show you how to jailbreak any iDevice on firmware 4.2.1. The only iDevice this does not work on is the iPhone 3G. This There is other jailbreaks for the iPhone 3G for 4.2.1 firmware, but this green poison jailbreak does not work for it for some reason. But it works on everything else. The iPod Touch 1st gen, 2nd gen, 3rd gen, 4th gen, and all the other iPhones except the iPhone 3G. Okay, so first of what you're going to want to do is go to greenpoison.com, and that's spelled, I don't know if you noticed, but it's P-O-I-S-0-N and not O-N, so uh, it's right there, and I'll put a link for it in the video description. But you're going to get this page, and depending on what uh, operating system you have, you're going to click that. So I have Windows, so I clicked that, and I already downloaded it. It takes a very short amount of time to download. And so basically when it's done, depending on where you saved it, you're just going to get it and take it to your desktop. And let's see, it's right there. Depending on if you have WinRAR or 7-Zip, it might look different. But you're just going to right click and extract it and extract it to your desktop. So once it's extracted, it's going to look like this. So you're just going to want to open that up. And for the Mac, all you have to do is click Jailbreak. But for the iPod, um, for Windows, what you have to do is you have to get your iPod and you have to put it in DFU mode. So make sure you click Run, so that way it started up. And then you're going to click Prepare to Jailbreak, and then get ready with your iPod. So you're going to hold down the Home button, and then you're going to hold down the Home button and the Power button. So hold down the home button for two seconds and then hold down the, sorry, hold down the power button for two seconds, then hold down the home button. And then when the device shuts off, just keep holding down the home button, but let go of the power button. And so it, you, I heard it, this connect sound, uh, it connected to the computer. So now it says ready to jailbreak. So you just click jailbreak and just wait for it. And make sure your iPod is plugged into the computer, obviously. My device is already jailbroken, so this might go quite a bit quicker. But I'm just doing it just to show you how, all the steps to doing it. Um, your screen is going to turn white on your iPod or iPhone, but don't worry, that's completely normal. Just let it do its work. And it's just going to keep doing that. That'll just stay how it is. It says it's done jailbreaking, so then that's gonna start up right there, and it's just gonna be a bunch of it's just gonna be a blank screen with a bunch of um, white letters. At first, it says failed to initialize or something like that, um, failed failed to find something, but then it all that stuff will pop up. So just let it finish jailbreaking. All right, so once it's done with that blank screen, you're gonna get this icon right here. It's going to be the green poison icon. And just let it finish its work. And then once it's done, you're just going to see the regular Apple logo. And it should start to boot up. So I'll cut to when that happens. So it just shut off, and now it's turning back on automatically. You don't have to press anything. Um, see, it's just a regular Apple logo. And it's booting up. And you're going to see the little skull Here thing we connect. All right, so... Now it just turned back on, and if you unlock it, um, if you just go over, you'll see loader. And I actually did not have to restore um, my iPod Touch. I just did it without restoring it. It was just on 4.2.1 firmware, and I restored it. No, sorry, I did not restore it, um, and that's why it still has all the apps and everything. Um, I do recommend, though, if you already have another jailbreak previously on one of your devices, that you restore it before re before jailbreaking it again. But if it's not already jailbroken, then you do not have to restore. You can just go directly to the jailbreak. Um, so basically, just open up Loader, and you're going to see Cydia. Just press Cydia and press Install Cydia. And it's going to go relatively fast, just waits till it's finished. Extracting. 
success and now you can just press the home screen button and it should be here somewhere oh alright it's rebooting I did not know it was gonna do that but I guess after you install Acidia it reboots again alright so I just installed Cydia and then it automatically rebooted I do not know if it will do that for you I'm guessing it will though um, so once you installed Cydia and you went back to the home screen it reboots automatically and then here you have Cydia and I would show you that I'm on 4.2.1 alright I'm sorry that cut off my brother came down and interrupted my video but uh, anyway I'm just getting right back on it again um, basically when I opened Cydia it just was initializing everything and setting up everything and then it rebooted again so uh, once it rebooted again I'm just gonna open Cydia and then it's asking what if you want a user hacker or developer <coughs> I'm just gonna say user for now and press done and then you can you'll have everything all the uh, sec uh, sections manage search and all the other stuff and then you can always add other sources and stuff like that um so anyway this has been a jailbreaking tutorial for the ipod touch um for sorry for firmware 4.2.1 for any i device except for the iphone 3g um if you found this video helpful please subscribe and check out my channel for more tech helping videos thank you